Hello? Hello, hello, can you hear me okay? Um, let's, uh... Off this, can you see me okay? Hey, how's it going, folks? I'm looking over here, because this is just where chat is. How is it going? I'm not, I'm, is he talking? I'm not, I'm not muted, am I? Jesus, fun with explosives. We haven't even started the stream. Thank you for the 10,000 bits. Jesus Christ. Hey, RT, City Skylines 2 is coming. I... I might be aware. <laughs> Jesus. That's very kind of you. How's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Thank you very much. Oh, God. Daisy cosplay went. It takes time. It takes time. It takes time. We're not half arson it, right? We're full arson this. We're making sure we do this right. I don't want to disappoint people. You know, like, like if this forfeit's happening. It will take considerable time, though. I'm, I'm telling you that now. You're gonna have to wait at least a few months. I'm telling you that now. But it will happen. And it'll be fun when it does. Please do bear with me, okay? We're gonna do it, we're good, because we're, we're doing it properly. We're doing it properly. It will take time. It will happen this year, okay? This year. Full arse with an arrow. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> you guys are so fucking weird. Oh, Jesus. Pure Assassin, thank you for the thousand bits as well. Never half hours of Daisy cosplay. Thank you very much. Thank you. RT and Vox was not a stream I thought would happen. Yes, Um, for those who didn't see on Twitter, uh, I am going to be doing, I guess, a podcast? Uh, I am on Under the Table with the lovely uh, Vox Akuma of uh, Niji Sanji uh, this Friday. Uh, we are having drinks in the afternoon and just chatting all sorts of shite. Uh, it should be good fun. Uh, yeah, that's happening this Friday. It's going to be on his channel. It's going to be streamed on his YouTube channel, I believe. That's going to be fun. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Who? Uh, so Vox, uh, Vox is, I mean, how do you describe his content? He doesn't, he doesn't mix up stuff. He's a very well-known VTuber. Um, he plays a lot of games. He's got a very smooth voice. And he's a lovely guy. His content is actually genuinely quite good. Um, and I would recommend it. He, he plays a lot of different games. Like, I was watching him the other day playing Dark Souls 3. And he had, like, a broken short sword, and the man's fucking beaten the entire game with it. Uh, he's actually genuinely very good at games. And it's actually quite impressive to watch. Very entertaining content. Does he play Pokemon? I don't, I've, I'm just gonna guess he's played Pokemon at some point. I feel like everyone's played Pokemon at some point. When are you gonna be a VTuber, Dad? <laughs> it's only a matter of time. Oh, Jesus. Imagine you just went on his podcast just to call his content bad. It's like, hey, how's it going? Your content's shit. Like, no. No, it, it, it genuinely makes good stuff. <laughs> just be mean. It would just be so mean. Ah, oh, God. Oh, it's actually, it's actually, like, it's actually quite, quite entertaining. I do enjoy it. I would recommend. But yeah, how y'all doing? Uh, we're playing some Wii games today. Um, we have the camera on for the start of the stream because I, I do actually have something I would like to show off. Uh, there's been a long time in the works. And this is going to be a little preview ahead of this weekend for it. Our man has finally gotten his own I want die plush. Um, this is, this has literally been, like, we've been working on this for, like, years and trying to get it right. Um, and he's gonna be hopefully available, uh, to purchase an out this Sunday. Uh, be shipping worldwide, available via the merch shop. This is just a little, a little preview of our little man. He's got like kind of like a wonky shape, like uh, like he stands. He likes to stand up. Like if you bend his legs, like his knees kind of just break off. Is how I would describe it. But I kind of love him just for kind of like like how he stands in that. 
we w we want to try and capture his look from Wii Sports Resort and that because it's when he was born. Um, but yeah, available from this Sunday. I just wanted to give him a little mention. I'll be shipping worldwide in that. It's on the merch shop. He's not flexible. <laughs> Put him in a blender now. No, we're not putting him in a blender. I could get Baby Gilbert for a size comparison. I think he is like... It, oh God, I want to say he's like over 30 centimeter tall. I have to measure that out properly. Hang on, here he is like in... Uh, uh, relation to my arm? Is that a good measurement? He's a cute little fellow. I really do love him, and I'm really happy with how he came out. Um, like, like this guy, hang on, let me hold him here so maybe you can see him better. Uh, it, it, he, he's been in, like, we've had this, been working on making this guy for like, I don't know, at least two years now or something ridiculous like that. But he's finally ready. Uh, like we figured it all out, and I'm excited just for people to get a hold of him. You know, because it's, it's, he's a beloved character. Is RT Ryan? No, I'm not. I love this guy. He looks depressed. His, I mean, his name is I Want Die. Like, look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, like, lie to you and say he's got the biggest smile on his face. Um. <laughs> but he's a cute little guy, and we love him. Ah, oh, God. He's turned himself into a marketable plushie. Hey, look, I look, I love plushies. I have no shame there, right? Plushie that I recently kind of uh, got um, from Chloe, actually, is there's a Stardew Valley blue chicken uh, that she got me for Christmas, and absolutely love it. Well, I've been a plushie person, like, pretty much most of my life. Um, you know, so I, I, I've always wanted just a little plush of this guy. Um, but he's here, so I just wanted to give him a little mention at the start. And I also just wanted to play some Wii games, um, because... Uh, the eShop is closing on Wii U, and it's not going to be available soon. Like, a lot of games are just being delisted forever because, um, uh, Nintendo hates us. Thanks, Nintendo. Um, uh, unfortunately, I actually was trying to get Wii Party U installed, but my gamepad is actually bricked. Uh, it's not connected to the console, which means that my Wii U has actually now become a Wii emulation machine. Uh, I need a new gamepad before I can actually play anything now. It, 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 straight, it won't connect. Uh, apparently I need, like, well, it's either I need a new gamepad or I need a new part or something like that. And I have to, like, open up the gamepad and install it myself. Um, something like that. Which is unfortunate. Um, but, I still have a mountain of Wii games in my cupboard. And I thought, for today, we just start playing with some of them. I've kind of, like, been in the mood to play Wii games a while. Uh, I thought we'd just play some tonight. And just play some the next while. I think that'll be good fun. Time to buy a second Wii U. I feel like the Wii U, like, second-hand price is about to skyrocket for some reason. I don't know why. It's, it's already, like, kind of old and awkward hardware. But it has got some, actually, like, quality games on it. I feel like the way we're going to be, like, smuggling copies of Nintendo Land in, like, five years. I don't know why. It's just some stuff that never escaped it. Can we do an eShop send-off? I would love to, but interesting design choice on Wii U. In order to access the settings menu, you must connect with a Wii U gamepad, which means I can no longer connect to the internet on my Wii U because I can't configure it. So thanks, Nintendo. That was a great decision. Um, but you know, we got the Wii. <laughs> we got the Wii. And this at least still works. So, you know, we're gonna we're gonna just boot that out up. I'm not drinking piss. No, stop this. I don't like this narrative. This isn't happening again. Oh Jesus. Here Assassin, thank you for the thousand bits. Is your cupcake shirt going to come back? I believe we're shuffling up some of the merch this next while. Uh we're retiring some of the items on the shop just to make way for new stuff that's going to be releasing over the year. Uh, I believe the cupcake hoodies are sticking around for a while. So we got those still. But yeah, we're, we're making way. There's going to be some new stuff uh, coming this year. The the plushie is, of course, going to be leading the charge here. Uh, I, I, I hope people are excited for it. Like, we, we, we've been working on this guy for ages. It's been like, I want to say, like, at least, like, 15, 20 different design drafts to try and get I Want Thy Right. It's unfortunately a very awkward shape. 
And like, like also like there was even like a few drafts of it where it was like his face was too cute. And so we had to send him back to the plushie manufacturer saying he's supposed to be uglier. Make him uglier. Um, which is quite unfortunate for the little lad. But we, we eventually got him right. <laughs> I think it's quite funny. Ah, God. Fuck him up, but not too much. That's the thing. We need him to be, like, palatable. But this very distinct, you know? His name's I Want Die, right? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, this is a Wii game I- Fuck, that's loud. I, this is a Wii game I have never played. Uh, from the original, like, Wii s series? I think most people haven't played this. Cause I, we all played Wii Play back in the day. Because Nintendo had the great idea to just bundle it with a free Wii remote. So everyone was just like, oh my god, I can get a Wii remote in a game. And it's like the same price as a regular Wii remote would be. So like, everyone got Wii Play. Apparently they made a sequel to Wii Play. Um, that I don't think anyone's ever played. So we're gonna give it a go. If this is a different game, this isn't Wii Play, this is Wii Play Motion. This is a different one. This came out in like 2011, I want to say. This is like towards the end of the Wii's life. Literally 50,000 copies sold. Was it actually that few? Wait. <laughs> Was it actually? No, okay, no it's not, it's not, but it is significantly less. Uh... Oh, that's a bad start. <laughs> oh, this may be a very quick first game. Hang on. Let me, let me, uh, just go back in. Hang on. Oh, no, I just realized what's going on. Hang on. I see how horrific crash this disc is. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this to work. Bought this second hand. Uh, <laughs> see if we can get it to work. The disc could not be read. Hang on one sec. Guys, I'll just be back in one minute as well. Hang on, I just have to quickly check something. It's not the end of the stream. No, it's not. Hang on. I'll be right back. If I can. Hang on. Let me just reset the Wii U. <laughs> okay. Hang on one second, gang. I have to actually, unfortunately, just go check something real quick. Uh, I'll leave you in his capable care. I'll be back soon.
Hang on. Oh, sorry about that. I have to quickly check something. How are y'all doing? Standard tech difficulty stream. It's been a while. Uh, I have to actually. Oh god, that actually broke even my PC setup. What is happening today? Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> return him. I might have to return the game. I I might not be able to play the game. Hang on. Yeah, I I know I'm unable to find the gamepad. That's fine. The, ga the gamepad is completely broken. TV only. I thought the Wii U just froze. It's all right. <laughs> this is all so broken already. We must tr overthrow RT for the new Drift King. I want die. I got no. Don't worry. It's loaded. It's loading. I know it says no signal. It just takes a moment. It's just a little weird. It's just a little weird. It's recognizing it here, so it should. Fuck, that's loud. Still, it should still work. I'm hoping. It's able to get this far. God damn it! <laughs> no, I'm. Uh, th th that's we play motion. That's the entire game. <laughs> Great start. Uh, let's see what we got next. <laughs> Give me one moment. God damn it. Game's not working. Game's not working. Alright. That's very unfortunate, because I, I, I was originally wanting to do Wii Party U, um, but the gamepad died. I then wanted to do Wii Play Motion, but that's now dead as well. I'll see if I can get another copy of that that's maybe not as scratched. Um, oh, next up on the list was Link's Crossbow Train, but I don't think I even want to play that. <laughs> I don't think I even want to play that one. Hang on, let me... Let me check what's in the box, right? Hang on. Duck stream is not happening today. There's a very specific reason for that. You'll find out later. Not the duck stream today. Hang on. What have we got? I have to remind myself of which of these games we even played before. Because some, some of these are quite old. At the least. Definitely played Deal or No Deal. I remember that one. It was awful. We played Up at one point. I remember that one. Did we ever play Guinness World Records the video game? It made basically... Just to explain this and why I have all these, basically, like, there was, like, a sale on in, like, CEX at one point. So I just got, like, a, a sack of Wii games for us to one day try. They were, like, all, like, two, three euro apiece. Incredibly cheap. Did we play this one? Did we play the Guinness World Records game? I feel like we might have. There's not a highlight video on it, but did we ever play it? I, I'm gonna check. I vaguely remember it. People are saying no, but I just want to make sure. RT game Guinness. World record. I don't see it. I don't think we did. Okay. Well, let's set a Guinness world record in our living room. 
Test your strength and stamina in 36 wild and unique challenges. Go online? You can't do that anymore. Compare your records with players all over the world. Are you a world record holder? Take on family, friends, and all competitors. We none of those. As you compete to be number one. And think you are the best. If you are, you could get li listed in the official book of Guinness World Records. No, you, you won't. Okay, let's let's try this. Give me one second. Have him take take the chair. Okay. Sorry about that, gang. Sorry about that. Okay, let's uh. See, I have to reset the console again. This is, this is a, a good start to the stream today. Uh, the, the, the Wii sack of games is not going well, is it? Hang on, I gotta fix, uh, gotta fix some stuff here. Maybe we'll get a game yet. Do you have Wii Fishing Resort? I, I, no, I don't. I've never heard of that one. Here's last night. Here's last Use some toothpaste and a toothbrush and do tiny little circles across the whole disc and wash it off and pat dry with a soft cloth and lightly scrub with microfiber cloth. Um, I might try that. Maybe not now. I feel like that's, like, that's just not going to go well doing it on stream. Thank you, though. Thank you very much. Works for vinyls, too. That's weird. Toothpaste. That just, that just sounds, like, weird. I'll take your word for it. What do toothpaste do eyeglass cleaner? Want disc clean in ASMR. Okay, let's see if this one works. Um, It's going to be no signal again. Hang on. This is Guinness World Records, the video game. Oh, that's compressed audio. <laughs> that's so compressed. It licensed by Nintendo. That's, that's a seal of quality right there. A lot of people were involved in this. It came out in 2008. It would have been, like, the same year as, like, Mario Galaxy. It requires one block. Save. Okay. Save and in progress. There's no sound. It's a, it's a, it's a little spooky. Okay, there's Ireland. Select region? <laughs> oh, we've got Northern Ireland, and there's Northeast Ireland, there's Northwest Ireland, there's South Ireland, Southeast, Southwest. Um, I, we're, sure, we're from the Pale. Let's go, let's go East. Good old East Ireland, it's very specific. <laughs> Guinness World Records, the video game auto saves your progress. Yep, that's fine. Okay, all right, we're ready. That's so loud. That minus 28 decibels. Okay, select up to four participants. Oh God, what's wrong with these children? Dan, what has happened to you? Oh God. He's calling to me. Is the is the um the audio in sync by the way? Let me just make sure. I don't know if you can tell. 
Yes, it is. Okay. OBS is lying to me about that. Why does Dan look so sick? He's like going purple. Yeah, we get to traverse the world. Where are we going first? I'm gonna go... Yeah, let's go to Egypt. See what's going on here. Fastest 100 meter hurdles on a unicycle. The longest burp. Oh no, you, you have to purchase that. Sorry, okay. Most tattooed person, sure. It's the only Guinness World Record we can start with. Oh, this might be a this might be a quick game. This might be a skip. <laughs> How to play? What what does that mean? Okay. That, sure. That didn't that didn't tell me how to play. This would be a painful way to get a tattoo. It's like, ah. Uh... Hey, let me let me just like color this in real quick for you. There would be blood everywhere. Oh, do not attempt it like this at home. There'd be blood everywhere. <laughs> not even red paint. It's just blood. I need the color in the eyes. Okay. Most tattooed person. We got we got three. Oh look at us. Let's look at us go. Those are just JPEGs that they are like just slightly moving. Okay. Alright, uh, the pointer's gone now as well. Alright, that let's let's try a different game. We could we could be moving quick. We could this could just be a skip. Don't know how long we'll be here. I don't know how I get money. Fast is time to tear five phone books. Of, of course. Very important world record. Please skip it. Stream still says we play motion. I... No, look, I I don't think it's gonna be too confusing category-wise. There's, there's no one else here, okay? There's no one else here, and if... We have, like, so many games in this box. We have so many games. It might as well be we play motion, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. Does Guinness World Records the video game have a category? God, I only watch we play motion streamers. Okay, I just gotta use the nunchuck and tear, I think. Alright. Here's my hands. <laughs> what am I doing? I can't get through the phone book. I, it's not tearing anymore. It's not. It's not. Why won't it rip? Do it quickly. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It won't. <laughs> it's not breaking. <laughs> They're really cheering me. I, I could you all pipe down over there.
<laughs> Why won't it register? Hold it near the middle. I, I am! <laughs> I am! <laughs> I don't know how to get out, so I'm just gonna reset it. I'm just gonna reset it. My grandma tears books better than you. <laughs> Look, I'm trying, right? It's not easy setting a world record. Certified by Guinness. I think the reason it's certified by Guinness is they wanted to just like make a trivia book or something to drink alongside, well to read alongside drinking Guinness. It's like something like that. And that's why it's like Guinness World Records. This is not we play. Yeah, let's go Bob this time, hang on. Go somewhere else in the world, maybe, maybe we'll have better luck. Third is washing machine throw. Finally, a record for me. You got the world record of the fastest time to soft lock the game. I look, there's. It's just the motion instructions. Okay, sure. Try aim for the middle. Let's try it. This is probably going to get us killed. He's running pretty fast with that washing machine. Oh my god. New console record. That was a very that, that was a very short game. Just end it. Wait, is he doing the meme dance? No, not quite. I don't, okay, let's try it again. It's the Yoinky Sploinky. What's the Yoinky Sploinky? <laughs> Just toss it. Console record. New personal best. I love how the music just ends. A new console record. Three in a row console record. This is if that was loud. This is if no one's been on this console. Most melons crush in a minute. There's no way you don't know what the Yoinky Sploinky is. What's the Yoinky Sploinky? I, I genuinely don't know. What does that mean? How to play. Just smash. Sure. Finally, a record I can achieve. Man's gonna have significant head trauma. I'm trying desperately not to hit the table. It's like a truck of watermelons just off screen that they have to line up for this.
<laughs> it just feels like work. New personal best, though. Take it. You've achieved concussion. Any other games you want to check out? How do I unlock other ones? No, I can't do that anymore. Customize participant. Oh, you you can you can make your you can make yourself. God, the lack of tea is unnerving. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I keep keep Bob as he is. No certificates. Where's like the shop so I can unlock some of these other mini games? I, I have some funds. I can unlock the unicycle one. Or I can unlock the egg and spoon. Longest mode. Oh, okay, yeah, no. That, that's got to be the one. Longest motorcycle jump. You really want to give these people your money. But th these aren't microtransactions. These are like wee fun bucks. Don't worry. We're okay. Oh god, now I remember why this game feels familiar. I think we- I played it before. It wasn't on stream though. It was a college event called Terrible Games Done Slowly. <laughs> we did in our game society. That was it. That's why it's eerily familiar. And and that must be when I bought this game. This wasn't even a first stream. This would have been like 2015. Oh god. Okay. Just rev, right. Rev and jump. Guinness World Record flag seems to have the highest texture of anything in the in, in the game. <laughs> oh, I'm just dead. I I just have to wait for him to fall a while, I guess, and like reflect on my failure. You don't just get to try again. It's like, you gotta think about what you did here. Okay. Rev it. I think I got it this time. I- I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. We did it though. New personal best. Qualifying target achieved. Congrats, Bob, you're a Guinness superstar. <laughs> I don't want to play that one anymore. How long have I actually been playing this one? It it is it, actually quite worrying like I think we've been in this like 20 minutes. And I'm already like in the back of my brain, it's just like, oh my god, I wish I could just play something else. Like, please just get me out of here. Pull the plane. Oh, it's... I think it's supposed to be DDR, but you're pulling a plane. Look at Bob go.
He he's really doing it. It's not even in time to the music. It's just arrows on the screen, isn't it? It's a national record. National record. The highest record in all of East Ireland. Secret target achieved. Qualifying target achieved. <laughs> you want me to you want me to see what else is in the box? <laughs> You want me to see what else is there? <laughs> yes, please. Okay. There's still Link's crossbow training. Still Link's crossbow training. Maybe not that one, though. Did we ever play WarioWare Smooth Moves? I feel like we did a stream of that at some point. We def yeah, we definitely did that one. I remember that. We did stream that. Yeah, so uh, we can't play that one, unfortunately. Um, but what we can do is we can go to the carnival with fun fair games. Experience all the fun and excitement of the fun fair with carnival fun fair games. And as four players can join the multiplayer madness as your Wii remote transforms from a sledgehammer to a frog. I'm oh, sorry, a frog flinger. And everything in between. You know, that's like that's like a scale rating right there. Okay. Alright, let's let's gear on up for this. Let's uh get out of here. Awesome frogs. Uh, game three of the night. <laughs> We've so far had one broken disc and one that we simply didn't want to continue. And he goes to Wii Shop for the pops. I think it's closed. I don't think it'll load, unfortunately. That's just a static JPEG. Normally they're animated, but okay. Why is there so much shit on the Wii? Like, I mean, the Wii was a crazy time for games, because, like, everything got a game. Like, uh, like you know, your favorite, like, Saturday morning talk show host probably had a Nintendo Wii game. I think it was a Friends trivia Wii game. There's, 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 like, so many. Just everything released. This, funnily enough, was made by 2K and is... On the same engine that Dark Souls uses. Really, Havoc. It's a little shocking. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's on the, s the Havoc engine. I don't know if you can see the little label here. Havoc is the Dark Souls one, isn't it? What do they use? Am I right in that? A lot of games use Havoc. Yeah, it's a bit blurry. Over two... Okay, do you see the prizes here, right? You can see it. Do you see the fucked up Furby? There's teeth on his chest. I know it's blurry. There's teeth on his chest. Okay, alright. Well, let's... Let's give this a go. Can we create a save file for carnival games? It's a very polite way of asking, isn't it? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Step right up and welcome to Carnival Games. Test your skill and win a prize or It's like not quite a me. It's very unsettling. Okay, let's head on in. Make a new character. Do you want to be a boy, girl, or a man, or a woman? Yep. You know, you, you want to be little Timmy or a real man? <laughs> it's way too quiet. I can turn it up. Here, here we go. <laughs> I'm no amateur child. Real men play carnival games.
course, we're gonna have to call ourselves just real man. Change so. your shirt, change your pants, change your look. Here's the sort of screen that will yeah. fill your character, kid. Simply he looks click on the very tired. To set yourself up the way you wanna look. And when you got what you want, click the plus button. Make make our make our avatar. Oh, this is so unsettling. Oh, these are all locked apparently. We we can't afford the funny shoes yet. It's the most we can do. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the crossroads. This is the center point for the midway. You can get, you get all the sensations of being in the carnival. And the confusion and overwhelming sounds. And the comfort of your living room. What do we, what, where do we want to start? Claw Alley? It's holding one. There's mini golf. Prize Claw. Not enough tickets. Okay, hole in one then. Let's try some mini golf. Four boys and girls of all ages, welcome to hole in one. In this game, we we'll oh, put your God, the avatars is scary. The Simply line up your ball with the hole and putt with enough force to reach it, and you'll win. Okay. How do I? How do I swing? A? I'm I'm press C. Oh wait, there we go. Oh, you gotta hold B. Okay. <laughs> Little too much force. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, it accidentally swung at the end. All right, we got it. Took a while. You put well, my son. And now, now it's over here. Okay. Come on. Come. <laughs> Come. <laughs> Come on. Swing. 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 <laughs> Why? It's a rough day. It's a rough day. Ah, oh, Jesus. Wi-Fi Muffin, thank you for the 5,000 bits. Oh my god. Hey, T, I'm an American student. I just got accepted to UCD to study city plan with a full scholarship. Thanks to you for years of your amazing entertainment. Without you, I probably never would have considered Ireland for university and found a school in my dreams. Hope you had a fun time streaming today. Ah, oh, congrats to you, Wi-Fi. That's amazing news. Congrats on the scholarship. Yeah, that's a big deal. UCD is a lovely campus. Uh, actually, a little, little cheeky mention. I'll be at UCD this weekend. Uh, because uh, Vaticon is happening there. I'll be there on Saturday. Myself and uh, Cake Jumper are going to be there. So we'll actually be there. I don't know if you're going to be there yourself right away, but if you are, come say hey. I'll actually be there this weekend. What's Vaticon? It's a charity convention. At UCD. Dan's in the Vatican. No, no, Vatican. <laughs> Not the Vatican. <laughs> Get it right.
Go to Claw Alley. Maybe we won enough tickets now. I, 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 I don't have enough. God, the font is so unreadable. Okay, ring toss, ring toss. Oh, thank you for the 5,000 bits. Congrats again to you. Dial, thank you for the five Hello, gift subs. Step on up, right up to ring toss. The object of ring toss is to throw your rings precisely enough to land it right around a bottle. You only get five rings per game, though, so make sure you toss wisely. How many million copies do you think this game sold? Because we're definitely talking in the millions. This, this feels like a game that a lot of families would have just owned on the Wii. Oh, wow, it's like the actual carnival. Can't get the rings on anything. <laughs> it's absolutely rigged. It's just as rigged as the actual carnival. It was, it was like a pity ticket. guy on the right is like, oh no, you missed it. Ouch. Well, I, I, okay, we can go to Claw Alley though with our one ticket. We can get something. What price do we want from the claw machine? Look at all these cute collectibles. I hope I get the fucked up Furby. Point the Wii Remote straight straight up, tilt the Wii Remote like a joystick to move, press the A button to drop the claw. God, I hope this isn't going to be like an actual claw machine where the, the odds tend to be against you a little. Okay, now we got something. We got a frog. I'm happy with that. Look how happy he is. I thought the game crashed. Where can we check out our frog? Is it Prize Boulevard? I have no idea. I don't think we actually got the frog. I I want to check out the frog. This is just make go having us go back to making our character. I go to Rodent Row. This is where they keep the rats. Pigskin Pass. Shooting Gallery. Super Game is locked. Shoot for the stairs. The buckets of fun. One Phil, thank you for a thousand bits. Fun fact, this game has two sequels due to its successful sales. Mini Golf 1 and New Carnival Games. In this game, you'll get three chances to land a ball in the bucket. Sounds pretty easy, right? Wrong! You'll need to spin that ball up into the bucket if you're going to have any hope of winning. Hey, ball must stay inside the bucket to count. Aim your shot with the control pad. Use underhand toss to throw the ball. You spun that one, right? <laughs> this is gonna sink action Don't replay. Get so excited, everyone gets lucky. Tell you what, if you actually manage it's a very limp bucket, throw. I'll give you, well, a prize. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Get, get, get. Living for that replay, you know. I really want to see that in slow motion. Whoosh. Two buckets. Look how happy he is. What a victory dance. 
pigskin pass. Let's try it. Step right up, all you wanna be quarterbacks. Pigskin pass is the game for you. In this game, you'll get three chances to throw <laughs> the look so dirty. a variety of defenders. The defenders change with each complete Okay, three tries to throw the so football through the swinging toes. tires. Scramble, man, scramble. Go. <laughs> it should be illegal for you to even hold a football. That's just mean. Uh, how do I aim it? How do, how do I aim it? Retire. Not so good. You, 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 just, you just don't quit the day job, you know. Not like that. Shooting gallery. I feel like this this one should be pretty explanatory. Hurry, folks! Right this way shoot to ducks. the shooting gallery. Here you'll need to shoot. Twenty-five shots. Press the B button to score. shoot. Avoid shooting if red ducks. Bullseye, and bullseye score scores more points. Three, two, Very straightforward. One, go. Oh God! There's a bunch of people playing against me. I got I got a secret present key. Sure. Unlocked the reindeer horns. Okay. Did it just lag? It does feel like the game is lagging. Got another I got another secret. The elephant feet. I feel like I just want to camp on the left or right. Let's get as many as we can. Fantastic. Large price. Look at all these tickets. This disinterested kid. Oh god, not elephant's foot. Yeah, is that... Is, <laughs> elephant's foot does sound like you've got like an infection or something. Oh, you're gonna need a cream for that elephant's foot. Radioactive. Got. We have to try going nuts. He uses 25 tickets. Okay, we we need a bit more. Shoot for the stars. Attention, cowboys, marksmen, and gunslingers. Welcome to Shoot for the Stars. And no, I don't mean those Hollywood types neither. In Take the shot. Accuracy and nerves, you'll need to try Pick out the carnival man. Target completely away. You only 300 bullets to shoot out stuff. So be careful with your aim. We've 300 Just a machine gun at the carnival. Shoot for a better score. I, I didn't get it. Not too bad. They're like criticizing me, but it's like also here's a prize you won. Three hundred shots at the carnival seems excessive. <laughs> I don't know, can you guys hear this as well? Let me hold up the Wiimote to the microphone, okay? No, hang on, I, I'm gonna have to talk. It's just, it's just constantly vibrating. This is a very hat. Like, it, it, it sounds like I've got turned on the electric razor.
Oh, we're taking home all the prizes here, apparently. Let's go again. Just keep on... Oh, I'm just trimming my beard. It's really hard to get all the red. You're doing worse each time somehow. Not too bad. But still getting tickets. Got the table tennis paddle. If I play again, I can win one more small prize. Trying to get what we can. Your star. I'll be able to go to the claw machine again. Medium prize. Here's some boxing gloves. Yeah, we got it. We gotta try the nut game. Yeah, you know, going nuts. I'm very menacing with the setup here. Behold. <laughs> you must navigate this landscape. Turn the Wii remote to the left and right to move the squirrel left and right. Catch drop nuts in the basket for points. Colored nuts have different point values. Win tickets for the more points you get. Taking all our tickets first. Three, two, one, go! Like you win the luxury of being able to attempt this game. Crunch. It's a very expensive game. That's a lot of money. <laughs> that sounds like a guy who's just like eating cereal into a mic. <laughs> oh yeah, give me some of that Weedabix. Big crunch. We can just play again, and if we, as long as we don't miss any, we can make a profit. You only get five more each time. It's not much profit. Some. Head back. The clone just walked by. <laughs> Didn't see him. The Meteor Love. Hold the Wiimote on the heart, strike a pose, prepare to be judged! Oh, that's, uh, that's very ominous. This is, this is, this is 15 tickets to play. I d Bashful. That's it? That's just. That's that was fifteen tickets. I paid fifteen tickets for the machine to go. Eh, you're below average. Oh, it really is the carnival. <laughs> it's being scammed. Okay. Uh, let's do frog leap. Folks, step right up to the frog leap booth. Well, I think I remember a version of this game. Reach their lily pad safely. I tries to launch the frog into a lily pad and cat aim the catapult the control pad, use overhead swing to launch. He's not even going far enough. Three of them 
bullfrog and you might get something special. Oh, I'll take it. Try hitting the launch pad softer. Try landing three of them. I want to send it towards him. And you might get something special. <laughs> Be free, frog. See, these are the Fortnite dances they gotta they gotta bring back. Look at this guy go. Doing the like put the forks and knives away back in the drawer. Look at him go. Spills milk. Have a strong throwing arm? Then this is the game for you. Step right up for an exciting He tries the game, knock down all three balls to win. Time the shot carefully. Okay. Oh, I see it. So you gotta wait for the cursor to be there. I'm loving the action replay. Yeah, you, re you really gotta take this moment in. Too, too slow. You might want to invest in some spectacle. <laughs> it's so mean. You're not supposed to insult us. You know, we're, we're giving you money. Right. You gotta be nice to us. Just rude. Like, <laughs> get a load of this guy. The SpongeBob voice. It does sound like it. It's the bowler coaster. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Bowler Coaster. Very this small bowling game, alley. You'll need to send your bowling ball flying down the track into the safe area. Careful, if you spin the ball too hard, it will fly right off the track. And when by stopping the ball in the safe area, soft, flip the Wii remote to build spin power, hit B button to release. We're going to the moon. <laughs> Not so hard. A little too much. Man, oh man. Oh, again, they change it each time. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Oh, it's over. Get in there. You won a small prize. He's the alligator. Balloon darts. Actually almost worked. It's time for a poppin' good game of balloon darts. Think you've got what it takes to Just start tossing. Balloons? Step right up. Take a chance and win. Well, the Wii wrote like a dart, aim at target, and make short, sharp, forward movement. Let me put the wrist strap on. This is how you lose a monitor. God. It goes really fast. How fifty points. Good job. We're all such short little games, aren't they? I guess that is the point. And just play again and get tickets forever. Very much micro games. I want the green one. You're a cool dart throwing cat. Maybe those darts need to be sharpened. I want to punch your character in the face. That's a bit mean. 
don't know what he did to deserve that. He just looks a bit disinterested. You're a cool dart throwing cat, RT. Oh, thanks. It's the guy from Mega Mind. <laughs> I can kind of see it. It's John Arbuckle. I can kind of see both. Not too bad. It's John, but like he's a bit at, he like he's just lost it. He's so sick of Garfield. It does look like Napoleon Dynamite a little bit. I can see that. I was thinking that. He looks like he eats whole wheat bread. I don't, I don't know what that means. Ron Weasley after the divorce. You put the elephant feet on. Yeah, sure thing. Hang on. Up back real quick. Here we go. We got we got the we got the reindeer ant the, the antlers as well. Moving up in the world. Get lucky pass. Dunk tank. Lucky cups. Nerves of steel. This this is just like the the wire game, isn't it? To the carnival's most electrifying game. I, I had like a toy version of this, I think, when I was a kid. In this game of nerves and patience. This is basically just you have to get around the wire, and if you if you touch the wire, it would go like. Watch out, though. There we go. Yeah, I remember this. A bit harder. With shaky, shaky Wii controls. That's fine. Apparently, I didn't impact it too much. <laughs> Dropped it. Congrats! You got the secret prize. Nice. I'll take it. Here's a wooden duck. Do it with your eyes closed. That's, that's probably not possible. Game that relies like purely on sight and hand control. Oh, we're gonna get to get this guy. Welcome to Dunk Tank, where you'll have the pleasure of trying to dunk our punk into a. The character looks like a failed movie start on some sort of alcohol. People are being very mean to a real man here. He's just gonna taunt us. Come on, see that target right there? Come on. He's just taunting us. I don't know what you're aiming for, but it sure ain't the target. We gave it our best. Next time. Oh yeah, we're gonna get him. I'm stubborn. There we go. Instant. Come on, see that target right there? Come on. You ain't gonna hit that. Okay, you got me one time. There's no way you're gonna give me fly. <laughs> Whoa, what a right there. He's still taunting us. We already got him once. Talking a lot of smack. Someone who's been in a dunk tank is accurate. 
I'd be too scared. I think the anticipation would get me. If I was in a dunk tank, I would probably just jump into the water. Or like set off like the seesaw myself. Because I, like, I wouldn't be able to handle the prospect of being dunked. Someone would just pick up the ball. And I would just like probably recoil like, no please, and fall in the tank. Immediately gone. Play the Lucky Cups. Just too sudden. Boys and girls of all ages, step right up, straight on over to Lucky Cups. This Congrats on affecting real YouTube change. Uh, thank you very much. No, I mean thanks to all of you for um, you know, making that possible. Yeah. I'd I wanted to make that video for like the last few weeks ever since the policy actually got changed just to update people on the situation you know because like I think it's a big deal I think it's very important yeah thanks to all of you for making it possible really you know avoid the blue cups I can retire with the a button use underhand tro Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on, throw it! The motion controls feel so weak. It's not even making it into the ring. It's not even making it in. Oh, there we go. Blue Cup champ. Strongest man in Ireland. Please throw. I, I I was throwing it every time there. Stay at the races. Try day at the races. I, I think I remember this one. Rude of them to give you a lead ball. Oh, this is a classic, races. yeah. In this fun and exciting game of horse racing, you'll need to score points by rolling your balls into the point holes. The more points you score, the use flying disc throw to toss the ball. Towards that finish line. Three, of course. Two, one, go! Come on. Gotta wait for them to come back if you miss too many. He takes an outside track and gain it. <laughs> I'm just getting constant 50s. <laughs> Onto the winning strat. Come on. You just line it up and just keep it perfectly still. There we go. Fantastic. You call that winning? Yes, I do. I won a large prize. I got a set of drums. Ten tickets. We don't need to go to the carnival anymore. We got the carnival at home. This is all the entertainment you need on a Saturday night with your parents. You know, it's like, it's 2006 again. We've just come home from school. Mom's mate, like, ordered pizza. And it's like, Mom, I thought we were going to the movies tonight. You know, I thought we were heading out. It's like, we don't need to head anywhere. We're going to bring the circus to our very home comfort of our living room. 
And he'd be like, no way, what? You, we can't have the circus here. They're not going to fit in the room. There's no space. It's the magic of carnival games. You can have it here. I was born in 2006. Oh, please. Please do not tell me that. I, I don't need to know. <laughs> God, we're old. Listen, like, I'm young and I was born in 1995, alright? That's a young age right there. 25 coins for 25 tickets. Yeah, we gotta we gotta drop coins. This costs a lot of coins to play. How many coins do I get? 25, okay. Fine with these games, you have to kind of go all in. Just start tossing them. No work, though. It'll work itself out. Won 10 tickets so far. God, I'm in my 20s. Why do I feel old? You know what? Us 95 babies are pretty much boomers right now. No, stop. Stop. I'm not allowed to say that. This is my day at the carnival. Not my day in the therapy, right? <laughs> I don't need to be reminded of my impending midlife crisis. RT a boomer. I feel very old sometimes. Like, um, what was it? I was having this conversation with someone the other day. Like, I, I didn't get a smartphone until like 2015. I had like one of those old phones with like the QWERTY keyboard since like 2007. I first got it like when I was like in college. So, like, like, to this day, I, I I don't know how to use half the stuff on my phone. I feel so old whenever I have it. Put some more coins in. Got a smartphone at 10 and broke it the same day. That's, that's very impressive. Old phones were better. They were built to last. Like you, you could injure someone with an old phone. You toss that at someone, it's basically a brick. Lockia was very much a thing. I think there was some kind of golf game on the phone, too. Didn't have any apps. Got it just in time for Pokemon Go, ultimately. You play Snake. I don't think my phone had Snake. Not even snake. I look at TikTok and finally understand what my parents felt like uh, when Facebook and YouTube became a thing. I, I've tried watching TikTok. I've tried giving it a go and I, I just, I don't understand it. Like, the, the only TikTok that makes sense to me is, like, where it's cute animal doing cute thing. That's it. A anything else, it's, like, it's, like, too much is happening. 
and it's like hyper edited it and it's like someone does a dance but there's like there's the what is it this is one song that always plays where it's like let me do it for you but it's like really squeaky and high pitched and i don't really understand what's happening Kermy, the long dog. You see, you say that, right? There was no long dog in the video. I've asked, I've asked about it. I asked Kelly about it. There's no long dog in the video. So why is everyone on about a long dog? There's none in the video. And say like the music's playing, but someone's doing like a dance from Fortnite. I don't understand it. I don't know what's going on. Dad, it's a meme. Oh, I got the boa hat. Nice. There's one I've seen where like, it's a guy reacting to news, right? And all he does is he just points at a news headline. And it's like then like a different video plays for the entire thing. And it's like four million views. And it's like, I, I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> like it's just beyond me. I am trying. I I am trying to come to terms with this. Like, you know, like as an advanced elderly man who has an interest in technology. I'm trying to come to terms with it. You know, because I want to be able to come on stream someday and be like to all you guys, Hey, your dad's made a TikTok. You know, we're going to have some, you know, good old wholesome fun. You know, because that's like the quality content everyone's asking for. But it's going to take me time to understand it. It feels so old. I watched like one of those like try not to laugh TikTok compilations before. Um and I just didn't laugh. Not uh, like just nothing was funny. Absolutely nothing. I just like I felt like I wasted 10 minutes of my life. Play again. Let's try to get more tickets. We're asking you not to do it. I want to see Rumble Tumble TikTok gaming. I mean, it's basically Vine again. You just kind of have to train the algorithm. You see, I tried to watch Vine too, though. Like, this is what I mean. Like, okay, so like, okay, he doesn't get TikTok. You know, it's probably. Yo, it's just, he's just an old Zoomer. I didn't understand Vine either. I tried watching Vine as well. I tried. Uh, like, Vine was like proto TikTok. I, I just don't get it. Oh, so you're just ancient. I'm trying to understand, right? Zero tickets won, by the way. I, I got I gotta try to get some of the red coins. Hang on. Pop that coin in there. Come on. There's a nice red one on the left. I've never watched TikTok out of choice. The joke is that it's a comically large spoon. <laughs> See, I get that one, yeah, that's funny. That's funny though. I get that. It's a classic animation right there. Weirdly, like, this is probably the most exposure to TikTok I've ever had, right? Because like, we're talking about me trying to understand technology. Uh, I am an absolute sucker um, for a YouTube channel called Nukes Top 5. Where basically it's like uh, ghost compilation videos uh, found from across the internet. 
because uh, I, I I love watching paranormal stuff. I find it like wildly entertaining. Um, because like there's a mix of ones where it's like this genuinely is spooky, and then there's ones like that's obviously fake. And the ones that are obviously fake is the uh, like your man doing the the, the channel always ha says like meanwhile on TikTok, and it's always fake. <laughs> it's without fail. It's always specifically the TikToks that are just the fake ghost footage. That's just like, yeah, that didn't happen. Like, that just didn't happen. That looks stupid. <laughs> it's the most unconvincing ones. Did you watch Ghost Files by uh, Ryan and Shane did Buzzfeed and Soft? I have been watching Ghost Files. It's very good. It's very good. I do love some Buzzfeed and Soft. I, uh, I, yeah, I, I, I quite like kind of like, uh, like, you know, true crime mysteries, paranormal, like, stuff like that. I, I just find it fascinating. I find it just quite entertaining. Genuinely enjoy it. But that's probably like, ah, oh, I didn't win a lot of tickets. That's probably the most I've been exposed to TikTok, though. So, like, TikTok, from what I understand, it's like, I'm not laughing, and this video is fake and does not depict a ghost. <laughs> And I've really tried. I've really tried. Reset the machine. Oh my god, you're right. It's because I've already played it like four times. We got all the tokens out of it. Hang on. Let's go back into it. There we go. There's some, there's some new tokens now. That might be gambling addicted. It's like finally the classic Wii game I've been looking for, you know. Let me tell you all my opinions about technology and how society is going downhill. TikTok zoomers, you know. I don't know what's going on there. Oh Jesus. If you passed, I know it's not real and all, but it shaped internet horror. I, I, I'm, I, I, I actually used to, like, read, like, some old, old creepy pasts. This would have been years and years ago. Um, but most of them are kind of stupid. <laughs> most of them are very stupid. The one I love is there's, like, ask Reddit threads where people just share creepy stories. I quite like those. I don't know what it is. There's, like, uh, ghosts and stuff. I just find it kind of fascinating. I've always just thought it's kind of cool and just kind of spooky. I think of the back rooms. I haven't played that. Do not shake the machine. It's not realistic. I'm, I'm tr really trying. I want to get that yellow coin, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, there's some big movement. I think I can get that middle one down. Can't get arrested from shaking the machine. It's not realistic. You gonna say, "Naughty"? Have you heard of the Steam Deck? I've seen it. It's, uh, uh, Spiff brought his uh, when we all met up for New Year's. That was, it looked really cool. It's too scared to try it though. He had like a very fancy case. Too scared I'd break it or some shit. Apparently they're like gold dust. Like they're really hard to get. Okay, hi, let me go to a different mini game before like everyone like, like loses their minds. Sonic.exe had they had a what? I remember that one. Uh, that that one was just kind of dumb. I lo I I remember like the Ben Drowned creepy pasta and stuff like that back in the day. The really like stupid ones. Kind of like shape the internet in a weird way. Get our fortune tell. Okay, hold it to our head. I hope this doesn't vibrate. 
Ask me a yes or no question, be amazed. Okay. Wait, do I ask the question now? Here it is. It's coming. TikTok. Star, say yes. <laughs> that was the question. That's all. That's all I have to ask. Wait, no, that was, wait, no, that, that, she was answering, do I ask the question now? Oh, uh, I think I already spent my tickets. God, that was 15 tickets. I wasted my question. Pass your strength, it's classic. I wasted my question. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Test Your Strength. A true test of not only your physical might, but also your se We did watch TikToks with Dahi that one time, too. He uploaded a video of that in his channel. I, I think even with that one, like, the only one I laughed at was one with, like, a rat spinning. That's it. And it, it, it like, that one just got to me. But like the rest of them, it's like I'm just like straight faced the entire time. I, I'm trying to hit it. I'm shaking it. <laughs> what average Joe? I had to shake that a lot to get that to work. Like, you guys can probably hear that. <laughs> Take the shot! <laughs> Oh, my wrist is going to be sore. <laughs> my wrist. <laughs> you have to shake that an awful lot to get that up. Yeah, just not. Uh, leave that one. Leave that one. I don't think it's worth it. I ain't got any tickets for that one. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Step right up and win a prize in a thrilling game of alley ball. To win at this game, you need to score. I've actually won this one more times IRL than in this game. This one's fun, yeah. Point hole. I do actually love like amusements and stuff like that. These kind of games. But now I need I and you know I never need to go again now. I can play in the comfort of my own home. Gotta get the hundred. No, I don't. I don't. You never. You're never gonna get it. <laughs> if you throw it a little bit harder, you might actually get yes. it up this time. I just read in chat that like, you're so shit at this. And then like he's making fun of me as well. <laughs> just In it goes. There we go. Get a nice replay there. Nice shot, 50. Okay, roll. Getting there. There's another TikTok dance we're getting in. Look at that. Over 400 points for the large prize. There's got to be a way to rig this so you can just get the 100 every time. <laughs> That's not it. One 
Phil. Thank you for 500 bits. Isn't the fact that TikToks need like four to five things going on at once to keep your attention become a joke? I, I have no idea. I, 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 I don't know. The only ones I can kind of get is like, hey, it's a cute cat. Because, you know, like, what, what's not to get there? That makes sense to me. These John Carnival games. I'm trying. I'm trying. You're so condescended. You seem like a swell cat, but this might not be your game, if you know what I mean. Not too bad. YouTube already broke my attention span. I don't need to make it worse. That's the thing, because my, 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 like, I, I find it messes with my attention span, too. Like... My ideal afternoon is like, ah, a four hour, like, German 985 stream VOD. Perfect. Yo, know, like, like, I pop that on, then I play some games or something while it's in the background, and, like, I I'm content. Like, that, that's, that's all I need. I was like, what? Defunct Land made, like, a, like, a, hour-long documentary on like the Disney Plus channel like perfect that's all that's all I need I'm gonna go on TikTok it's like here's like 18 videos you watch them in like three minutes and I, I can't remember any of them and it's just like what what just happened I'm getting old, guys. I'm getting old. You know, I, I, yeah, yeah. your old man can't get up to change the TV channel too many times. You know, he's got to set, put something on and then sit down and watch it. You know, I, I can't just be channel surfing. That, that's what it feels like to be, like TikTok. It's just like I'm constantly channel surfing. And if I find something that I do actually want to watch, it's already over. God, I sound so old. People are probably here. It's like, I just want to see him play Wii games. <laughs> it's like we're just at the carnival, and I'm just like complaining. <laughs> I'll tell you what the other thing wrong with TikTok is. <laughs> like, please, Dad, I just wanted to see you play the Wii games. Be the ball, kid. Be the ball. The real carnival experience. The old man's had a few too many to drink at the carnival. And he's just ranting. Good score. We're getting in much better at this. Medium price. God damn it. Throw it a little bit harder. You might actually make it up the ramp this time. Next he'll be telling us he uses minion memes on Facebook. <laughs> no, you want you wanna know something that's like a real sign that I'm old, right? <laughs> so sometimes like Sometimes Stuart sends me something, like a funny video he found on TikTok, right? But because I don't have it, I can't actually play it on my phone. So what Stuart has to do is he has to download the video on his phone and then send it to me. In like a text message so I can actually watch it. And like every time it happens, I feel like ancient. <laughs> I, 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 feel, I feel like... like because it's basically the equivalent of, like, your mom sending you a cat picture she saw on the internet. That's what it feels like.
Oh my god, how old is your phone? No, I, I just don't have TikTok installed. I just don't have it. So, like, the link doesn't really work. And I can't really see it. You're a roller specialist. Close, but not too close. Try aiming a little bit more. Doesn't make you old. Dad, we really need to talk about your tech skills. <laughs> Please tell me you don't use SMS, at least use WhatsApp. I have WhatsApp, don't worry. I do. I, I'm not- I'm not that technologically impaired. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. Wait, what's wrong with SMS? We're, we're, there's gonna be some of us here in streams like, wait, what do you mean? We're doing our best to keep up to date. We used to be with what it was, and then it changed. Right up, the older we get, the more I relate to Abe Simpson loop. from The Simpsons. In this completely accurate simulation of basketball, you'll need to score as many... Three, two, one, go! Okay. Dan, I've just turned 21 and suddenly you start talking about the most relatable stuff. Can you please not make me feel old? <laughs> why, why is this always missing? <laughs> I didn't even get one. You need some practice. Play again. Why does it keep... I'm not even throwing it that way. The hell is a Simpson? No, don't. Don't do that to me. Don't do... Okay. Alright. This is, this is gonna horrify some of us here. Okay. How many people here have not seen the Simpsons? This is this is this is really gonna scare some people. Ouch. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna start to see the reaction. There's a lot of me's, and now there's a lot of wait, what the hell? <laughs> How is there so many people? We're so old. It, I think this just separated a generation of people from chat. Like I just. Filtered use into two camps instantly. <laughs> I have just split chat in two. <laughs> You're so old. Please make a poll. Okay, yeah, no, okay, um, can one of the mods make a poll? Have you seen The Simpsons? Yes, no. Let's see, let's see how divided we are. How much of a generational split there is. Three, two, one, go! That's pretty good shooting, kiddo! Have you seen The Simpsons? Let's check this. Okay, wait, the poll? Okay, the poll... The poll is 80-20%, but there's still 20% of people here that haven't seen it. One in five of you have not seen it. Keep at it. One in five. That's not as bad. Yeah, that, that that was getting scary for a moment. Like people, people are like panicking and having like an existential crisis. Ban everyone who said no. I'm 
trying to think what, what what's another way to like divide our chat culturally. What will be another example? I'm trying to think. MSN Messenger. Okay, yeah, no, okay, Here, here's another one. Yep, yeah, no, this one's good. How many people here have not seen Monty Python? Or even know what that is? This will really show it. Because, okay, Simpsons, it's everywhere. You get exposed to it. This will really show it because this is one you have to go looking for. There's a lot of people who haven't seen it. I have not seen it. I don't know what that is. Yeah, no, this this really shows it because it's not as like prevalent and like in your face as Simpsons is. Like this is we're talking old entertainment. Is that a TikTok trend? Ban that person. Mods, just ban that person from the chat. <laughs> That's... <laughs> just get, get him out of here. <laughs> you, you are too young to be on this stream. <laughs> I got one. Jesus. Anyone played Farmville or Chef World on Facebook games? <laughs> this old carnival game is just like, God, we've been on this planet too long. Like, this is just making everyone <laughs> doubt what time is. We're really out of touch. Like, you know, you might think I'm bad with TikTok. I, it's gonna happen to you too, though. It's gonna happen to all of you in chat, too. You might be having a fun day at the fair, but you're gonna be old someday. People and there's people gonna be playing games, and you're gonna mention, oh, the Carnival Fun Fair games in Nintendo Wii. And someone's gonna go to you, what's a Wii? What's a Nintendo Wii? It's gonna happen to all of you. None of you are safe. I'm going to show it again, okay? How many people know the difference between a Game Boy Advance and a Game Boy Advance SP? Yes or no? <laughs> Watch chat just be divided. So I'm not the only old one here. I'm not the only old one. We're all Ken Nan in years. <laughs> Someone please explain single player. Cassettes growing up. Let's not even start mentioning what a Blackberry is, right? People aren't gonna know what that's even referring to. The SP stands for special. A fruit! A fruit! <laughs> like, this is what I mean! Not so good. 
We don't have long left on this planet. Having a fun day at the fair. Fun day at the fair. Carnival games. Royal Tulip, thank you for a thousand bits. Hey Dan, I remember recently my kindergarten class asked what a DS was and then proceeded to call me old when I said I had a Blackberry when I was a little older than them and it was the hip thing. Yeah, yeah here's another question. How many people know the difference between a Nintendo DS and a Nintendo DSi? Okay, alright, alright, this one, okay. Okay, this one's too easy. This one's too easy. Okay, that's a little too recent. That's a little too recent. A little too recent. Most people know. Collection plate. Right this way, folks. Right this way. It's because I have Step massive right hands. And test your skill and luck at Anyone got a Motorola? No, any anyone got one of those on them? Every time we ask these questions, like, the, the, there's a... Someone just ages. Someone just ages. They're still around, actually. I'm trying to think of one where, like, we can really get the show. I've gained five years. This really is like your dad complains about technology. <laughs> Back in my day. I'm trying to think of something very specific we could ask that will really separate it. Um, like, like, I'm trying to think what would be the most horrifying question we can ask. I feel like asking what a Walkman is. People people know that. People know that. Surely they know what a Walkman is. You need some practice. Yeah, we're not We're not that we're not that old. We're not that old. That, one, that one's too prevalent. I feel like the Simpsons and Monty Python are the ones that have really separated people. You know the difference between an MP3 player and an iPod? Yeah, people know that. People know that. It has to be something that's kind of old, but not as prevalent anymore. Because of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I, if it's still relevant in culture or, like, popping up a lot, then yeah, people are going to have heard of it more. It is kind of hilarious looking at chat now, right? Because you can tell you can tell the age of folks just by what they're suggesting now. Like there's people saying like Tamagotchi, like VHS. People are just like kind of saying like um You know, like this is this is what we had when I was young. Okay. So here's so here's the question that I'm gonna ask, and this will again this will this is going to horrify some of you. This is going to horrify some people in chat, okay? What is the first video game console you ever owned? There's a lot of Wii's, a lot of PS2s. Wii U, Game Boy Advance, Xbox 360, GameCube. H 
has anyone said Nintendo 64? I don't think one person said it. <laughs> no one has said it. That is a few. That is a few. But notice how many Wii's there are. Notice how many DS's there are. Switch. There's not a lot of NES's, there's SNES's. I'm seeing barely any Game Boys. Oh God. What's yours? My, mine was a Game Boy Color. Game Boy Color. Don't worry, I'm old. I'm old. I've been around a while. I'm close to the 40 now. You got some kind of and I am being born. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we gotta stop. We gotta stop. Everyone's gonna leave the fun fair like crying and in tears after this. Right. <laughs> We're gonna like get in the car to go home and it's like everyone's just like wide eyed staring into the void. It's like, I don't wanna go to the fun fair again. I'm not having fun at the fair anymore. Do you remember Beyblades? So, who in chat doesn't know what a Beyblade is? Who doesn't know what it is? Just say me. Just say me. No, no, no. Okay, everyone knows what a Beyblade is. Apparently, all right. Never mind. They, they've they've stuck around. They've stuck around. Okay. There's no way people don't know. I think the, Sim the Simpsons is the one that scared us the most, I think. 20% of people here don't know what it is. They've never seen it. I mean, I, that is probably the scariest one. <laughs> if I ask that question again in five years, that'll probably be 40%. That amount's gonna go up. Take the machine gun again. Are you even going to be here in five years? I could be dead. I may not be. Welcome to shoot for the stars. And no, I don't mean those Hollywood types neither. Take our shots. This one is actually like shockingly difficult to do. Who remembers star ratings on YouTube? <laughs> well done. Who does remember star ratings on YouTube? I think there's a lot of people here who won't know. I do not, I don't. What? It had stars. Pull it. Yep, put a, put, put a poll for that one. Maybe we found it. Maybe the five star rating system is what divides our generation. Like, who here used YouTube when there was five star ratings? Who remembers dislikes? That's what it'll be in like 20 years. Rate this YouTube video five stars. <laughs> oh, okay, look at this. Look at the poll. 55% is no. There's more. Okay, yeah, we found it. We found it. It's more no than yes now. 
N okay, now we're separating people. Now we're separating people. <laughs> Majority here do not remember five star ratings on YouTube. I was alive then, I just wasn't on YouTube, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I thought we were gonna move fast. I'm sorry, we were we were trying to. We were trying to. Here, there you go. Okay, let's 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 play a new game from like the sack of Wii games. We've we've been at the carnival a lot. We we're going home from the carnival. Like everyone's like we got into the car after the carnival and everyone's just sobbing and crying uncontrollably. Because everyone's realized how old they are. Let's get out of the carnival. Let's get out of the carnival. Gotta go home. Okay, we've had Guinness World Records. We went to the carnival. We attempted Wii Play Motion. Let me see what other games we got. For some reason, I think I have a baby game. There's one called Cosmic Family. Perfect game for you, your child, to learn and play. Over 20 early learning mini games focused on colors, shapes, puzzles, and more. It's for kids from 3 to 7. Made by Ubisoft. Made by Ubisoft. So, you know, like a heavy publisher back in this game. Let's see. Make us feel young again. <laughs> Dang it. Let's, let's pop on Cosmic Family. Welcome to the Nintendo Wii game variety hour. You're now watching the Learning Channel. Licensed by Nintendo. Copyright 2007. Hello, little friend, and welcome <laughs> to the cosmic home. My name is Stefan the Elephant, oh, and I will be right all through the game. I think we're going to have great fun together. This is cute. So this is Cosmic Dad. Cosmic Dad. And here is Cosmic Mom. Bit of a height difference. <laughs> they love each other. Very sweet, though. Whoa, here is Big Sister. Just drawn in the family. And these are the children. <laughs> the dog and the cat. They play around all the time. Look and at them go, they're dancing. You. So choose your level, my friend. Green is easy. You're gonna Yellow eat this perfect murder. game to play with your kid. It's wholesome Red. family content. <laughs> it's difficult. Hey, Little Timmy gets his first game and experience. With the elephant. And little Timmy quickly learns the hard facts of life that technology needs to be correctly assembled before use. You need to know what you're getting yourself into, Timmy. You, you fail to prepare, you fail you prepare to fail. <laughs> Green. Sure, this is what you want? 
Let's go. Green elephant. Dad's telling one of his stories. Families all having fun. <laughs> then a harsh blizzard strikes. This is very cute. This feels like it's like a picture book or something. This is very sweet. Welcome to the cosmic home, little friend. With you in charge, I think we're going to find the surprise hidden in this rocket. Everything's stage, so you happy. Collect the petal of a flower. When your flower is complete, you can move on to the next stage. And when you visited all the corners, nooks, and crannies, you'll discover the surprise hidden in the rock. This is better quality than the stuff kids are put through these days, like on YouTube on their okay, iPads. This is what we had. I mean, this is what kids would have had for entertainment back in the day. Nowadays, you get to listen to Baby Shark 20 times in your kitchen while you're trying to prepare dinner. Say hi to the cat. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> It's just a cute cartoon channel. What is happening? It's, it's kind of hard to understand the logic in these like kid, kid, kids games sometimes, like kids programming. You know, like, th th this makes perfect sense. Press A. Oh, what a mess in the Cosmic's home. To see it more clearly, everything is ruined. Put the puzzle in their proper place. Point at the item you want to pick up. Press the A button. Move the item to where it's so you want cute. To move it, then press it. Feels like it's all like flash animator or something, doesn't it? Look at that. Home is restored. Oh, what a mess in the cosmic's home. Green level difficulty. Wait, did, did I pick green level difficulty? Was that what it was asking? In their proper place. Did I pick easy mode for this game? <laughs> oh, I'm just I'm just worried it's gonna be like too challenging. <laughs> I thought I thought I was picking the color elephant. I didn't I didn't realize that was the difficult. Back to the adventure or keep playing this mini game. Are you sure you want to quit this game? Let me change the difficulty. Mess in the cosmic home. To see it more clearly, put the pieces of the puzzle in their proper place. It's making us feel young again. Oh, it's okay. We're not alarmingly old anymore. That elephant just twerk at us. What a mess in the cosmic's home. To see it more clearly, put the pieces of the puzzle in their proper place. This game is, I mean, look, that's not how they meant it, though. That's not how they meant it. Like, this is an innocent time. You have to remember that. Like, you know, little Timmy Ooh, playing this is just going to be like, I want to see the home. elephant. Proper 
proper place. What are we thinking, gang? Mm. Mm. There's a sound effect if you place it wrong, I think. Mm. Yeah. What are you doing here? There we go. Do you want to go back to the adventure? This is so cute. Like, look at all these characters. Like, I, I, a kid would actually love this. This is actually very sweet. This, 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 unfortunately, we may not be able to play this game more than 10 minutes realistically. Um, that my brain turned the mush. <laughs> so there's not a lot going on. But like, little Timmy, it seems like he would love this. Yeah, I'm the you champ. That's me. Battle. Now, follow me. Choose your favorite character and put it in one of the rocket's windows. It My favorite character is the, the elephant. You when you're finished, you can take a photo. Then we keep going. Are you sure this is what you want? Put him in. Now point at the TV and press the A button. I need to relax a bit. The cartoon channel. Can we please play the carnival game again? Look, it's Dad TV. Look at your family. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how appropriate this might be for little Timmy. <laughs> well done on the new pedal, my friend. Okay, let's go into the kitchen now. Point anywhere and press the A button. Find the Cosmix dishwasher. You will win a new pedal. Gotta find the dishwasher. Walk over to the kitchen. That's the dishwasher. Did little Timmy take shrooms? Maybe. We just get to watch the family having fun. Hey Dan, did you ever play any of the Monkey Island games? Um. No, but I'm currently playing Cosmic Family for Nintendo Wii. Is there anything I can do? I, I think this is just watch the animation. There goes the cat. Cat's dead. That's a lot of damage. Mom is going to scream in a moment. She's gonna be so upset. B R A B U, bravo, 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 bravo! Yay, I now did it. Time to fix the damage. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. Like, think on your, think on your sins, little Timmy. You caused this. It would be nice of you to repair everything. Go on, off to work. Point at the item you want. I mean, this, this is very cute. Mm. There we go, I made the vase again. Now you get to see the elephant twerk. Super, it's repaired. <gasps> I think it would be nice of you to repair everything. Cut. Go 
on, off to work. Every valuable has been destroyed. It's back together. He's so happy. Mom says thank you. She's delighted. I think it would be nice of you to repair everything. <laughs> I don't like that Go transition. On, Put it back together. You only have you have four lives? Can I get it wrong? The stream is so relaxing now. She's delighted. Do you want to go back to the adventure? Up the difficulty. I think it would be nice of you to repair everything. Go on, off to work. Place it wrong. I want to see what happens if it's like little Timmy he just pulls an absolute bender. You do fail it. What happens if you do it completely wrong? It's just too difficult. What's a game over look like in Cosmic Family? Keep going. Cosmic Mom will be so happy. Pepperoni Dog Mom, gives out to you. Be nice of you to repair everything. Go on, off to work. Salami Dog is mad if you fail. So presumably in little Timmy's mind, this reinforces fear of the salami. You know, they'll start, like, crying uncontrollably if they see that character on the screen. Because it means they, they did something wrong. How do I fail it a second time? It's just too challenging. Is this hell? <laughs> yeah, okay, we fail it again. Salami Dog is not impressed. Keep going. Cosmic Mom will be so happy. I think it would be nice of you to repair everything. Go on, off to work. This is purgatory. There's no way to quit. Well, there's one way. That game was cute. That, that, like, that's like for little Timmy. That's not for us. It was actually very cute with its animations. It was wholesome. It has over 300 interactive animations. Is everyone feeling like a kid again? I, I hope so after that. We cause like a horrific existential crisis. Okay, what what else have we got in the sack? Hang on. Have a look. Good job, Island. Or that was that was. Good job, Island. God, I have Rave Rayman Raven Rabbits TV party. I don't I don't know if we want to play that. The alternative is My Sims Party. So it's Rayman or My Sims. Okay, 
Okay, let's, let's, let's go with Rayman. Let's go with Rayman. See if this works. Another Ubisoft game. This is like the, this is like video game minions. It's like the, the market this game was trying to get out in on. Rabbits came first, did it actually? That is kind of shocking. Rabbits predated minions, really? Licensed by Nintendo, let's try this. You need a nunchuck to play. Okay, hang on. Let me, let me get it back real quick. Ubisoft Paris production. Oh, is Rayman actually in this? I haven't really played a Rayman game. Trying to murder him. basically took over the Rayman franchise. Yeah, because the Rayman franchise is pretty much dead now, isn't it? It's just the Rabbit games. That's all they seem to do. I think they made like one for Wii U and that was it. The third game of the Rayman Raven Rabbids series. Oh, so we might be missing some important lore and plot points. <laughs> Apparently, it's a Wii Balance Board compatible, according to the box, which is a selling point. Very important. Great new save, huh? New profile. We can pick a title. Fossil Fossil feels appropriate consider all the discussions we've had today. Feeling very ancient. We'll just call ourselves Old Man Dan. Old Man Dan. No, old Man. Old Man will do. We balance board. No. Solo mode. What is this? 7 a.m. to 9 a.m.? Oh, because it's TV, right. Go to Strawberry Fields, New Jersey. Welcome to Trash TV. Select your game. What, what exactly are we doing? Oh, it's like is it like Mario Party mini games? I love their mini game compilations, don't they? Okay. We don't need Mario Kart, you know, this is, this is, this game, 
you pick it up from the game shop. It's Mario Kart, but also like 50 other games in one. It's the only one you need. Think of the value. All you need. them all. You know, we don't need online multiplayer. We don't need the race against anyone. Give us a tractor. Oh, Lolly, thank you. Thank you very much for the raid. How's it going? <laughs> Welcome to, uh, like, Wii Games variety stream. Uh, I've got, like, a sack of Wii games we've been playing. Thank you very much. Hope you had a good stream. Welcome to Existential Dread Raiders. Here's a question for everyone joining the stream. Uh, we found out that, like, um, half of us never saw what the, like, five-star rating on YouTube was. Uh, Raiders here, have you ever seen five-star ratings on YouTube? Have you ever seen Monty Python? Have you ever seen The Simpsons? <laughs> Got some fresh blood! Let's all feel old together. No. Save us. Oh wow, I got I got a new accessory. It's bloodshot eyes. Nice. Old man now is the high score. We have to fill out a schedule of TV, I think it is. Toxic. What's this? Groove on channel. No, the happy feelings from the toddler gamer, god. Playing time with the music. Okay. I'm gonna suck at this, right? Wait, is it actually toxic? I heard a bit of it there. This is actually Britney Spears toxic. But like a cover. Okay, what, what, what role do we want to play? We gotta do singing. Okay. I I am shocked Raymond Raven Rabbits of all games got the license for this. <laughs> this is an actual cover. Wait, can't you see? I'm cold. This is not what I expected! I'm trying to get it right. Perfect. Old man was killing that part. It's so hard to shake him in time. How many millions do you think it costs for this one minigame to be featured? 
Like, this could have well been like a million dollars in licensing fees. It's the full song. <laughs> Oh, we paid a million dollars. We're getting our money's worth here, right? Oh, man, was wicked during that part. It's hard to believe the Rayman series is dead for this. Accuracy, 85%. Oh, we're jamming. Oh, we didn't beat Rayman, though. We didn't beat Rayman. Get a remix after. <laughs> you know I'm no good. I don't know what song that is. Pimp My Rabbit. Star Wars. Also known as uh, Episode 9. Let's try Pimp My Rabbit. Dress your rabbit by following the instructions. Okay, so we just gotta dress up a rabbit. Your rabbit must be extra hairy and cool without being trendy. Hair. We, we gotta just make a rabbit. Extra hairy. Now he needs to be cool. They just scream at you a lot with their noises, don't they? He's ready. They made rabbit Jesus. Oh, they don't like him. Didn't go well. Didn't go well. Uh, local, thank you for a thousand bits earlier. Hi, Dad. This is the first time I've seen you live, and I gotta know, will you ever play the other two walls in Gromit games? People have mentioned them. It's like what? It's like the Project Zoo? What was, what was the other one? <laughs> Heaven must be missing an angel. They have a surprising amount of licensed music. <laughs> Let's trick me? Were rabbit game. Oh, okay, I didn't realize there was a were rabbit game. 
Come on. Dance in time with the coke. Do the moves shown using the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Oh, this is just Just Dance then, is it? I guess it's Ubisoft. They, they could just port this if they want it. Strictly come idle. Wait, no, this is just more licensed music. We can't keep... We can't keep doing licensed music. <laughs> no, we can't. We'll get in trouble. We, we did Toxic, but we can't. It's, it's, the stream will be offline forever if we keep picking these ones. We already got Toxic in. Mix in my toasties. Toxic was absolutely the best one, yeah. Cookie steak perfectly and throw it into Zeke's mouth at the right moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God, we're so immature. <laughs> it's just, it's just straight up. Surely someone must have known what this looks like. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah, hold the B button and flip the remote upwards. Okay, we'll learn it. Okay, mix in my toasties. How do I give it to him? How do I? Here we go. I do both sides. Wait, there's an advert. Tap. Old man wins the mega streak. Rabbit's choke. Fl what? <laughs> It was an ad in the game. Oh, okay, you don't have to, you don't have to do both sides of it. Just one side is enough, apparently. Pass them over. You know how we're gonna feel old in relation to this game? In 20 years? My god! Remember people watch TV? Like, I, I, I don't think I've watched TV... Like, I want to say, like, properly in 10 years. Like, outside of, like, I come downstairs, like, my mum's watching something on the TV, so I just... Like, you know, leave it on the background. Like, that, that would be the most of it. I've never, like, come that, I, 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 gone to a TV. It's like, oh, sweet, let me put something on. Okay, next television hour. <laughs> Going to be wild. Try a day at the races. Guess who will lose each race? Fin finish first in each race. Choose the rabbit, point it with the Wii Remote, and press the A button. Choose. 
That just doesn't look right. During the race, to run, shake the Wii remote and the nunchuck up and down like the rabbit. He's so motionless. Let him go. Okay, race one of three. Guess who's gonna be last? Gonna be this guy. Which one am I? Oh, you really have to shake these. Commentator is going off on it. Nice gambling for seven plus. Batting the races. Gotta start them young. It's like having Luigi Poker in a Mario game for Nintendo DS. were paid the voice actors there's a great scene it's in like um what's what do you call it it's in like the uh like uh aardman animations documentary like wallace and gromit basically and they're talking about making sean the sheep and they show the voice actors for sean the sheep and he's literally just going up to a mic and just screaming as if he was a sheep and it's like incredible Oh, please go. Please go. It's a psychotic attack. The documentary is really wholesome. Oh, it's a great documentary. Really enjoyed it. But, I mean, it is just funny, because for some for some voice actors, like, it is just, like, think about Pokemon voice actors. Okay, can we get another Pika P, but sad Pika P. Now an angry Pika P. Like, that's how they have to do, like, Pikachu. It's just how it is. The bug snacks voice actors. Like, there would be a guy just saying, like, bunger. For probably, like, at least an hour. To get all the different sound files they need. Can you give us another bunger we can use? Give us an angrier bunger. Oh, my, my guy is just giving up on life. YouTube video of the Bunger voice actor and it's amazing. I'll have to look that up. It sounds great. Imagine having Bunger on your IMDB page. It, it's a valid credit. It, it really is though. Even saying something like, um, yeah, I'm the voice of Pikachu. Valid credit, you know? Like, it is voice acting ultimately. But, like, I, I imagine it is just a little silly feeling just kind of getting into that part, you know? I don't want to bite. Oh, I really want to do these. I can't. I can't. Okay, let's do rabbit acts.
Point at the screen with the Wii remote, the draw, hold down the A button, would finish draw and release the A button. Okay, so what am I trying to do? He's dead. Do we now show running? No, we're falling. Wait, wait, what am I trying to do? Oh, I get it, right. Gotta get into the position. Oh, <laughs> Gotta do it faster. There's another advert. You know, let's, let's, let's interrupt the game for a moment. Watch the ads. No, it's just like actual TV. Make it in a game, gotta include that. Music's getting very stressful. Why didn't you install ad block? It's TV. You couldn't. It's a different time. Tetris 2. Okay, last bit of broadcasting for Monday. Wake me up. Prison fake? Try this. Like the trash TV. Also known as twitch.tv slash RT game. <laughs> the first through the lit tunnels. Eliminate your opponents by pushing them. It's so emotional. The Wii Remote like the rabbit. Accelerate, pump the Wii Remote up and down. Change lanes, use the D-pad. Okay. Can't wait for an in-depth critique of the prison system. Oh, okay, we're escaping prison. But also we're competing against each other. Oh, <laughs> I've already done. Can't see the tunnels. Oh, okay, I see. So they tell you in advance and you gotta like get in the lane. Yeah, sure, let's interrupt this. Punch him in the face. Bootux? He's in a world of pain. Gotta get, gotta get in my lane. 
that boxed me. <laughs> oh my god, they're being arrested. <laughs> they're actually... Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think we needed that. That's just that's just too much. This game is seven plus. We don't have access to the next day because we did we didn't beat enough of them. <laughs> Play through the main campaign. We only did toxic strawberry fields and rabbit ass right. Oh god. Here, let me see if there's anything else we can play very quickly. To wrap up the night. I think we might be able to get in one more. Try my Sims party. You can try my Sims party. This isn't my Sims. This is the party game mode. The party game. I think I have other my Sims games. I, I fought so many of these back in the day. With the full intention that we were going to have like a my Sims day where we stream them all and we just, we just didn't. I think, we, I think we tried one of them, and it was kind of bad. And that was, uh, like, what was it? My Sims Kingdoms. Like, I have, like, Agents, Kingdoms, Sky Heroes, Racing, and Party. Like, let me take all these out. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, let me, let me, like, ju ju just to showcase this, like, My Sims Party, My Sims Sky Heroes, my Sims Racing, like they made so many of these games. My Sims Agents, My Sims Kingdom, original My Sims is in here so somewhere as well. We we have so many of them. Maybe maybe we still do a My Sims Day. Maybe we do actually, yeah. Maybe we do someday. Not My Sims Kingdom because that one was a bit shite. <laughs> Did not enjoy it. We could do like the My Sims Marathon Day. Or we have like a block of these. Pokemon Battle Revolution. I, I do actually have that one here. See, this, this one actually is here. Um, but I, I think that's one I would probably save for like its own day or something at some point. It's actually quite a fun Pokemon game. Silver Link's Crossbow Training too. I'm trying to see what we have, just something that we can wrap up tonight with. Evil's everywhere. A shout out to this one. I was looking for this. This is the old CSI game. We did actually stream this ages back and never got a video. That's a Telltale Games Wii game. Not doing Disney Pixar's up again. Okay, perfect. This might be the one to finish the night on. Big Beach Sports. Perfect. Yeah, no, this is perfect. This this fits with all the other games that we've been playing tonight. Another party game. This is a sports game. This is Big Beach Sports. There's just so many games on Wii. There's so many. I have one that I always wanted to play that, like, 
kind of remember loving, but just no one ever wanted to play it with me. Hang on one sec. Oh. Um, I don't know how many people remember Fortune Street or Boom Street. Uh, it was basically like a, a property Mario slash Dragon Quest Square Enix game. Um, <laughs> like there was like an actual stock market and weird shit. Like it was, it was wild. Oh, I gotta reset the Wii U. Hang on. Be funky for a moment. I always kind of hoped that it would just get, like, ported or something. And it might still. I think they're, like, porting a different one that was on Wii that was quite popular. I don't know how many people remember, like, Dokapon Kingdom, is it? Something like that. Used to be always paired with that game. I, know the, I remember watching the Runaway Guys play it years and years ago. Chaka Khan, Rorinko. Port and Dokapon. Yeah, I think it's coming out in May or something of this year. Coming back. Got TV only, because we don't have a gamepad currently. Um... Yeah, uh, this was like the other one that I remember. I remember watching them playing it, and then I bought it myself. But, like, no one ever wanted to play it with me. Because it's basically Monopoly, but worse. Is how I would describe it. Because, like, like all, like, it's just, like, capitalism game, and it all ramps up wildly. Maybe someday get a gang IRL or something together to play it. It'll be fun. But for now, we got big beach sports. This is perfect. This is the, the Wii Variety Games night. It's made by THQ. Uh, they've died and came back, didn't they? They're THQ Nordic now, I think. They died again since. Oh, that's unfortunate. Did they really die a second time? That's sad. Okay. Let's create a player. What initial stage 41 is the default? Oh, game, please, like, I'm doing my best. You don't need to call me out like this. Sure. Make a little avatar. Customize them how. Is that a Swatch shirt? Psycho? And there's a lizard. Well, I mean, it's gotta be the lizard. I keep thinking, for some reason, I was thinking that one is like no trousers. No trousers, but no, it's just like the, the X here. Okay, let's... Let's go with this. And feet. God, I'm loving the same, like, three notes again and again in the background. Okay, here's our little guy. Let's go to the beach. Volleyball. Bulls, football, soccer, disc golf, and cricket. It's a very interesting selection. Like, I mean, I don't think cricket is a beach sport, for one. I don't know if Bulls really is, but okay, let's go with it. Quick play. Select a player. Oh, they have some presets as well. There's like a pirate.
And I, I can no longer change it. Okay, sure, we're the pirate now. Look at the beach bulls. Players can complete the sea control their colored balls closest to their jack. Number of points awarded equals the... Okay. <laughs> I didn't even press anything. Okay, use the control pad to aim your throw. Press the A button to toggle between aiming your throw and positioning your player. It's shocking to me how many games try to be like a new Wii Sports. But like almost always in terms of presentation just got it infinitely worse. The like, Wii Sports is like so crisp, like clean. Let's throw it there. Let's pop our bull down. They're gonna try and knock us off. Now that Microsoft attempted to force Rare into making Kinect sports, though. I tried to set up a Kinect. Like, ages ago. Just to try and, like, for some stream games. I just couldn't get it to work. At least we can have a nice time playing Bulls on the beach, though. If you're playing Bulls, boy, you are really old. I think I remember for like three different holidays for my with my family, like we would always get a thing of bulls. Like my or my parents would were like with the intention that yeah, we're gonna play bulls. You know, we're gonna have so much fun. And it would just never happen. Like every family vacation. It was like the bright plastic ones where it's like red, blue, green, and yellow on that. I feel like it's the set that like everyone would get. They really want you to know it's big beach sports as well. They, they, they keep going back to it. There is a crab, but there is. He's just, he's just scoping it out. We're trying to get it as close as we can to that ball, I think. Audio is really crunchy. I have not gotten the closest one yet. Struggling. That audio is really crunchy. That sounds like a low MP3 file or something. You can hear the compression. I get it. I, I feel like I can't win. <laughs> I, just, I just can't get past this one. I've just lost. Big beach sports. Yeah, let's, let's play a different one. <laughs> this, one this one's not very fun. Let's play, let's play some cricket. Go with her, sure. Why is the cursor a foot, though? I really couldn't tell you. Open the beach cricket. Doctor, the game's to score as many points as possible. Each time your battery gets out, you don't get a chance to read that. Your shoulder facing the screen, hold the Wii remote with two hands pointed down in front of you. Swing the Wii remote like a bat when the ball arrives. I 
did it. Balls remain in 12. It's still not out. Sponsor, uh, sponsored by Swatch. Swatch really went all out with like investing in this one. Uh, Kitty, thank you for the raid. Thank you very much. How's it going? The Wii game night. At about 10 euro worth of Wii games I found. Uh, which has been about five video games so far. Oh, that's pretty good. All this for only 10. I think, like... Guys, like, the carnival game, right? The carnival game was 50 cents. <laughs> like, I think the most expensive one here was the Rayman game. Which was 3 euro. <laughs> Like, this, this is what I mean. Like, I, 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 <laughs> like, I got a bunch of these. They were like all dirt cheap. We play motion. Oh, sorry. We play motion was the most expensive. The we play motion is four euro. Four euro was for we play motion. Broken copy of we play motion, mind you. <laughs> I'll have to see if I can get that one again. Four runs. Four runs. Yeah, the carnival game was like 50 cents. I think like the, the, the family one was also 50 cents. Big Beach Sports might have been 25 cents. Like, it really says something about the Wii era of games when they're going for this cheap. I got some of these from CEX and then my mum, bless her, picked some of them up for me. Like, I want to say, like, a year ago. And she, like, found, like, four games. And it was, like, I got them for three euro. <laughs> like, something stupid like that. She meant well. She she definitely meant well. It was very sweet of her. She, do, she does know that, like, I, I like to play Wii games and, you know, even take the piss out of them. You know, I'm like, for that price, like, you know, you might as well give them a go. What's been your favorite game tonight? Um. Favorite is a strong word. I, I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't decide between them, you know, uh. <laughs> Least painful. The rabbit game actually, like, seemed to have a bit more effort put into it. Actually, no, like, the family one was very cute. It's just obviously not for me. <laughs> like, that's the thing. The family one was very sweet. It was actually quite wholesome. But it also did get very weird for some reason. Oh, he just caught it.
Wholesome equals not for Dan. <laughs> like, he hates it. <laughs> this game feels like Wii Sports. It's basically baseball. Um, but like, worse quality <laughs> is how I would describe it. The Lammy's coming for you, Daniel. Scuff Wii Sports. Yeah, that's how it feels. I do love the foot cursor. Look at that. Just uncomfy. This is like a welcome to my website in 2002 cursor. And you know, it's the kind of website where you have like music playing when you click on the website. Then it's like, you know, your, your your favorite, like, album. From, like, My Chemical Romance. I can say that now because I heard them. I heard My Chemical Romance. For the first time last year. Play some soccer. You hadn't before. Nope. Never heard of him. Um, but a friend of mine was like, hey, we accidentally bought, like, I think she bought, like, accidentally bought four tickets. And she was just like, do you want to come? And I was like, I've never heard of them, but sure. And it was great. Saw him in concert, I did. Yep, I've never heard of him. My friend just happened to have tickets. I was like, eh, sounds like an experience. I just kind of showed up. <laughs> They're okay. Which song was your favorite? I can't remember any of them. <laughs> Sounds, that sounds horrible, but it's because I'm I'm not good at remembering lyrics or names of songs. I, I physically struggle with them. <laughs> was it Cake Jumper? No, so like, like Cake Jumper was actually there as well. That's because like her and her partner like had bought tickets for it like months and months in advance. And I literally got mine because my friend was like a week before. It's like, hey, do you want to come? We accidentally bought extra tickets. God, there's a lot of controls here. I'm gonna suck at this one. How, how do I? Wait, how do I? I've completely ignored the controls. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do well at this. Just if we get the ball, just kick it. If we get the ball, just kick it. I'm gonna get Geico insurance now. Don't forget your swatch! These avatars look so soulless. Oh, God. I got my tickets two years before the show. Two years before the show because of, of COVID. Oh, I imagine they postponed it, yeah. No, I, I just, like, waltzed in and just showed up. I was like, I guess I'm here now. <laughs> it was a fun night, though. It was a good crack. I think I've only ever been to, like, two concerts in my life. I've never really done them. That would have been my second one. The first one would have been like 
like Porter Robinson was in um was in Dublin uh last year. I went to see him. That was that was good. Oh, and I've gone. To, oh, wait, sorry, not just two. No, I've actually, I've actually gone to see like Will and the guys like a few times for their band. Uh, Lovejoy. But like, yeah, like I like music-wise, like uh, <laughs> I am a ah great, a soundtrack for a Pokemon game from two thousand and five that I can listen to like seven times on loop. That's, that's where my music goes. CPU is with- uh, CPU, you can just take it. You can just take it. I don't think I'm too invested. <laughs> Uh, that's Wii games! Oh, Jesus. I think maybe we wrap it up there. I met Willem Dafoe at a grocery store in Maine. That sounds like the setup for it. You know that, like, copy pasta where it's like... Like, you, you, like I thought, you know, I met popular internet celebrity at the supermarket. I wanted to say hi... I went up to him and said, Hi, I'm sorry, I don't want to bother you, but I'm a big fan of your content. And then they said, it's like, oh, like you're bothering me now. You know that copy pasta. <laughs> what that sounds like. That German copy pasta. I don't think it's just German. I, that, that, that's a copy pasta for a lot of people. It's just a general internet co copy pasta. I've seen that one for Game Grumps like seven times. Open the Wii mail. Oh, sorry. Hang on. <laughs> let's, let's collect our post. So today's play history. We played Wii Play Motion for <laughs> a minute. We reset the console. Tried to play it for again for another four minutes. Guinness World Records for twenty minutes. Carnival Games for an hour twenty. Cosmic Family for fifteen minutes. Raven Rabbits TV for thirty-four minutes. And Big Beach Sports for nineteen minutes. What a day. Happy 15th of March, everyone. Does the mail channel still work? I believe so. I'm gonna just last of them have mail. Did I last stream like a Wii U game? Oh, there! <laughs> this would have been the last Wii Sports Resort stream. There's some mail. Oh no, that's when that's when we played Ratatouille. These are Wii Sports Resort news. All right. How long ago? I mean, I don't think it was. I think just the date on my Wii is wrong. I don't think it was April 2020. Like, we played it in- we played it last year. I think the date is just incorrect. Oh, god almighty. Yeah, we're gonna leave it there, I think. I think that's enough, uh... I think that's enough Wii games for now. That was fun to kind of just go through some of them. Like, I've had some of these just forever. I hope everyone enjoyed the stream. A blast from like 2007 in terms of games. Oh, one Phil, thank you very much for another 5,000 bits. Thank you so much. I genuinely recommend trying out Wii Fishing Resort. It was made by Xseed and is a semi open world fishing game and is rather relaxing to play. The game I hope can maybe come to the Switch. I have to look it up. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever really played like a proper fishing game outside of like fishing mini games. I love a fishing mini game. Be fishing resort. Exceed sounds familiar. And something else. What is it? It actually does look cute, even looking at it at a glance. Uh, my question is, why is it $131 to purchase? 
Oh, I guess that's Amazon, but... I guess that's Amazon, but that, that, that seems rather steep. <laughs> I'll have to see if that's somewhere else, maybe. Because it's good. Seems rather steep. I'll have to have a look. I'll have to have a look. Oh, thank you to everyone who subbed. Thank you to everyone who gave bits. Thank you as ever to the mods for being on hand. Uh, thank you to Laura and Kitty as well for the raids. Thank you very much. Hope you had good streams yourselves. We'll play some more Wii games in future. I think that might be fun. Uh, I we'll, we'll we'll have a My Sims night. We can just like go through them all. Every My Sims game. Spent a lot of time in the initial one, and we did do Kingdoms, but there's like four other games. Um, that we can check out. Oh, and also, yeah, just for just for people who are late to the stream, hang on, just... We'll tease our friendly fellow. Once again. Mr. I Want Die himself. Yeah, it's just early preview of your boy. It'll be available, hopefully, come Sunday. I think, oh, it'll be su Sunday or Monday. Sunday or Monday. But he'll be available soon. Good boy. Yeah, he is really cute. He just he just stands awkwardly, like... I, 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 <laughs> full warrant, you probably want to lean him against something because he falls down. <laughs> he's like, because he's, he's top heavy. Like, look at the size of his head. He's cute. And I love him. Oh, God. How long were you sitting on him? I... Still warm. Getting. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it there for tonight. Let me see who's still streaming. I can leave you in someone's care. Uh, who is all going? There's quite a few folks. Quite a few folks. Uh, Shadow and, uh, Alex the Rambler are playing some Minecraft. They're playing hardcore. That honestly sounds quite fun and chill. Go say hey to them. Go wish them well. Yeah, thanks for coming, though, folks. I'll see you all on Thursday night. Uh, where we're hopefully going to be checking out Not For Broadcast. Uh, it's a game I've seen a little bit of. And we've actually been very kindly sponsored to check out DLC that's releasing for that game. Uh, Not For Broadcast is basically a propaganda game. We're trying to control state media, is how I would describe it. And that sounds quite fun. You basically control TV broadcasts. Yeah, so we're, we're going to be giving that a go on Thursday. They very kindly sponsored us for it, too. Um, it, it looks genuinely quite cool and fun. Very different kind of game. Yeah, we'll play that then. Have a good night, folks. Take care.